Hi, today I would like to share with you a very easy project. I will create my own paper or colored paper with uh, Glimmer Mist by Tethered Angel and then from this paper which will be colored I will die cut different leaves to make some autumn cards. So I'm working with just basic cheap watercolor paper you don't need any specialty paper just uh, be sure that it's not uh, too thin because you will apply a lot of water on it uh, you can use any any type of spray by tethered angels i'm working here with uh, glimmer mist because i have a lot of them i took different shades oh, and I will try to achieve some autumn background. So I will be spraying with uh, Glimmer Mist and I have here also a bottle of water. So let's get started. I usually start with the lightest color and my lattice uh, it's uh, Marigold. So just here and there then I will take some green. Be sure that you will shake sprays well. And some uh, caper green. When you see in the forest uh, autumn leaves, they have got different colors. So I will make more papers and uh, this is it brown so now I will take my water and I will spray it and color will start to move if you don't like how it moves, you can always take a brush and help water and color to spread. You can layer sprays, it's absolutely no problem. But uh, be careful not to layer too much because then you can achieve really messy paper. So, for example, when I want now a little bit of yellow, I will dry this sheet. So, I will not add yellow straight to it, but I will take a heat gun and I will dry it. So, this is quite good, but I want to make uh, more yellow splatters because I think there is too flat color and when you look at leaves they have got a oh, thousand colors on them so again marigold and I have here Dijon I think this will be really really great colored paper for your leaves. You can combine different tethered angel sprays. I like that uh, Glimmer Mist has got the glimmer inside so it's nice. I will uh, set it aside and I will cut uh, leaves from it later and now I want to make more orange paper because uh, autumn leaves are orange brown they are red so let's take another paper and again I will begin with uh, marigold but I will spray paper with water first now I don't have any orange glimmer mist, but I have here um, a 
gold and I have here a butternut squash so I think they will be quite good for it it's a very nice color so I will not shake so much gold because I want just the light color and before I will add reds I will dry it again with the heat gun because there is still orange missing I will take this dress oxide and I will add color with it it's a nice orange and it has got this that oxide effect so you can combine it oh, I will just take paper into this let's move it And now it's time for some red. I will take a little bit of rusty red. I will dry it. Now I have here Merlot Gold. And uh, Sienna. And finally I will make some splatters with uh, brown and uh, with this uh, butternut squash color. You can really experiment with all your sprays, you can paint your own papers. I will not show you the whole process of card making because uh, it's quite long. It's all die cutting and everything what I will do. So I will show you in a minute my die cuts and at the end of the video you will see final cards which I made from these papers. So here are my final papers. Sure, I could let them like this, but uh, I decided to decorate it more so I can use them in mixed media project. So I will be working with distress oxides and I will do some stamping just randomly here and there with different stamps. Here I'm working with peeled paint. I have vintage photo distress oxide. Again, I will be die cutting from this paper, so my stamping will be just random here and there. Here I have some script stamp. and stencil another distress oxide and let's make some stenciling over the paper it's really up to you maybe it's too light let's switch to vintage photo just here and there absolutely randomly Now it looks like quite awesome paper.
and when you want to achieve this oxide effect you can even over this stamped and uh, stenciled area you can uh, can uh, spritz a little bit of water and you will have nice effect and also a little bit spiced marmalade just touch of it I love it I love how it looks like so the first one and now the second one again I will be doing some stamping vintage photo stamp spiced marmalade some script stamping I love this creative mess it's really really cool you can make this way your art journal so maybe just add some sentiment here and you are finished I have here another stencil The great uh, thing of distress oxide is that you can make stenciling and uh, clean your stencils later. No need to hurry and clean them. So, some splatters with water. I don't want to spray over it. I will make just, just splatters over the stenciled area. So, here is my second paper. So, I will turn this into card. So, here are my finished card. I used uh, frantic stamper dies to make these dies. Die cuts, <laughs> sorry. Look how awesome it looks like. Really nice autumn card. Here is second one more simpler and the third here I used prepared paper as a panel as a background panel and then I glued die-cutted uh, leaves and I added uh, some string Utah string so Thank you for your time and I hope you will try to play with uh, Tethered Angel Sprays to create some nice uh, autumn background. Thank you very much.